When I was a little girl, I wanted to be an astronaut. A scientist. A doctor. A fighter pilot. When I was a little girl, I wanted to grow up to be strong and independent. When we were asked to draw a picture of what we wanted to be when we grew up, I drew an astronaut standing on the surface of the moon. All I thought about was when I was going to get to NASA. It's a huge honor to be NASA's first female launch director, to be the launch director for Artemis. NASA has so many wonderful women pioneers, so many heroes to me. Some of the most amazing women in my eyes are people like Katherine Johnson and the other women that you've seen in Hidden Figures. Sometimes it's difficult to believe that I'm on this side now, wearing this blue flight suit with all of the other astronauts, representing this iconic image that had so inspired and excited me my entire life. Being of South Asian heritage, Kalpanachala was just such a big thing for me growing up. I've always looked up to Sally Ride and Mae Jemison, who really laid the foundation to allow people like me to be in the position that I am now. All of these women were pushing those boundaries and breaking those glass ceilings. Now, of course, there are some fantastic women in leadership positions that inspire me every day. So much has changed since the Apollo program. During the Apollo 11 launch, we had one woman, one out of 400 engineers in the room. And I look at our team today, it's much more a reflection of the world that we live in. A big piece of why it's so important to have women and diverse backgrounds because it allows us to bring everybody along with us on this journey. It doesn't really matter what you look like. If you've got the brains and you have the knowledge, we need you at the table. We are at such an exciting time in human spaceflight right now, and Artemis is such a huge part of that. We haven't been to the moon in many, many years. We have a lot of younger generation folks that have never seen that happen. We will understand so much more about the moon, about the Earth, about our solar system. We're going to stay, and to me, that's an amazing idea. The moon is going to be the blueprint for how we go to Mars and out into the solar system and maybe beyond. It is incredibly exciting to be part of this Artemis team. It still feels pretty surreal to think that I might one day walk on the moon. To see a woman and a person of color on the surface of the moon, to be able to say that space is for everyone and that we go to space to make life better here on Earth for everyone, I know that tears will be in my eyes. My message to women and girls out there is to find your passion, whatever that is. Don't let anyone tell you what you can do or can't do. Only you can realize your dreams. Faith is for everyone. And if me being in this role helps to send that message, I think that's a great thing. And I just actually love that I don't feel like a woman at NASA. I just feel like a person at NASA. The women of NASA are Artemis, and we make a difference every day. I am NASA's Spacewalk Office Hardware Manager. I'm the Program Scientist for Space Biology. I'm the Director of NASA's Johnson Space Center. I am Artemis. I am Artemis. Watashi wa Artemis desu. Yo soy Artemis. As sam Artemis. Ana. Je suis. Ich bin I Artemis. Am Artemis. I am Artemis. I am Artemis. I am Artemis. I am Artemis.